It's a growing number of babies not surviving their first year of life. Why is this happening? Our John Pierceos tells us it's a nationwide problem that's even worse in Tennessee. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is out with data showing the infant mortality rate rising. In 2021, there were 5.4 deaths per 1,000 births. Last year, that number jumped to 5.6 the first rise in 20 years. Tennessee is above the national average with 6.2 deaths in 2021 and 6.6 in 2022. It's a complex issue. Amber Ford with the Knox County Public Health Department says Tennessee has higher instances of chronic health, diseases related to obesity and smoking, which can impact an infant's health. She also says access to health care makes a huge difference. We do see have seen closures and that limited access, which really does have such an impact. The data shows a drastic difference in rates between white and African-American infants in 2022, with 5.6 white baby deaths in Tennessee, compared to 12.3 African-American infant deaths per 1,000 births. Ford says socioeconomic status is a factor, as well as lack of diversity in the maternity care workforce. Representation within care providers makes such a difference for our diversity in, in terms of care providers who are providing education. Ford says there are several services available in the community and at the health department to help pregnant and new moms. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Will this keep going? Ford says it's too early to figure out if the rising numbers are a trend that will keep going. Healthcare workers are going to monitor this closely moving forward.